Alrighty, hello guys. This one should be a brief video. I won't be going into detail why I'm doing things. I tried to explain them well enough in the document. You should find this video in. So yeah, I'll be just telling what I'm doing, not why I'm doing it. Alright, thank you. Firstly, moving to crosswind, because that's what you want to use as a sniper most of the time when you want to be accurate. I'll find a target. Don't really have to measure or lace him. Uh, set. Auto set. The heading towards the target. So what you practically do, you just look at the target, open it, hit the middle button a couple of times, heading set, and you are done. That's just an example for this, the actual heading, of course. Find the wind direction next up. I know it's roughly from somewhere there. I'm turning a bit. So right here you see that the wind arrow is turning left and right. From this point on, I'll check what bearing it is. 178, I will now have to turn 15 degrees to the right. So that would be, I think, 193. That was the finding the exact wind direction part. Then moving on to the division part, as it happens, I'm in a perfect spot. Proning, facing the wind, nothing blocking be between me and the wind, no bushes like that, or that, or any rocks, nothing like that. And dividing the 0 0.4 with 0 0.6, as I've already done here, you get 2.33333 which you then input to your uh, A-track here. As we are using crosswind, we will want to take only the horizontal component, so the component from left or right, into account. So, well, this is not a perfect example for you to understand the crosswind thing, unless you did understand it before, because now we would be using three o'clock anyway. But say, for instance, if the target was uh, there and we measured the crosswind for that heading, that's not what we are doing now, but if we did do that, we would still be using three o'clock. Because in crosswind, if the wind is blowing from anywhere between one o'clock and five o'clock, you will always use three. And with the same logic, anything between 11 and seven, you would be use nine o'clock cost then it's from the left. Okay, I went to explain uh, something already. I think I thought that in the uh, doc before, but if I didn't, now you know that. Everything else we already have set. And latitude, I'm pretty sure is 44 altis. And hey, let's go for the shot. This is my custom gun profile, so I'm not going to talk about the C1 coefficient or the seemingly fucked up rifle twist. As you can see, it's clearly not uh, nine inches as it technically should be, but I'll talk about that later right now <clears throat> We're just going to shoot the guy and well firstly see if I hit uh, The gun has definitely the stopping power to take a one-shot one kill from this range against a lightly armored target like that Double check that's what we got with the division here And yeah, I mean, let's go for it. It's not the easiest target anymore, but I should be able to hit it. And some paranoia. To see that if my numbers are correct. And well, here we go. Not doing any calculations from, you know, 1000 to 2003 or whatever. Sorry, guys. I'll just shoot the guy. Hopefully so. Okay, slight miss. And that's when you would have fucked up big time. Because as you can see, the guy's walking now. And, I mean, sure, I can probably... Yeah. I guess I might have hit him. Huh. Well, that's how you measure the wind anyway. Sure, I can imagine some certain 
individuals laughing at this now cause of course I should have hit the guy but I can just demonstrate to you with target I was aiming at the center oh it was that much high well I mean you did see that right now the uh, you know the horizontal setting was pretty much on point so I should have just aimed a bit lower beautiful Whereas, if I just did what um, you would assume you would probably do, would have been along the lines of. Hmm. Okay, yeah, it's probably 1.7. Yeah, sure, let's go with that. Sure, it takes far less time, but it's pretty far off. You know, it's 44 mils, like. Oh yeah, these guys really love the smokes. That should be at the center, right? And it's not even hitting the target. So this is how you set the wind. I mean, you did see that the <laughs> horizontal component, you know, the left and right component was pretty much on, on point. So I hope that proves it functions well. As for the other stuff, I have still plenty to learn myself. I fucking hate and love these things. Yeah. Not your best friend. That's the black magic region I've been talking about. Okay, well that's everything for today. You should now know how to measure the crosswind. Accurately, the true crosswind. Oh yeah, I mean, I forgot completely. Our uh, little cheat sheet. True crosswind was apparently 2.34. Oh well, 2.35. I I I would take that. Yeah. I hope you would too. So there was barely no barely any error. The method is correct. Uh, my current day drug profile mm, could use some tweaking apparently. Again. You won't get away from that habit by the way when you start making manual profile for Adrek. You will for sure need to make a little tweak here and there and it's never perfect. I mean actually yeah how are my track questions right now? Uh-huh but I know why I fucked up guys. Why did Mr. Pike fuck up? Bing bomb, yeah exactly. Well, no wonder. No wonder I fucked up. Yeah, don't get too distracted by one thing. Even if it's wind, like, there are still other factors that really affect the shot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these... These decrease... But it's, it's not that far off. It's a temperature, if anything. I kind of hope it would have been... There would have been more difference, but... Let's just see where the bullet would land now. I did shoot a few bullets, but I don't have the overheating enabled, so that shouldn't screw me over. Uh, yeah, I feel ballsy. Let's take this guy out. How about that? I wouldn't know how the Cherokees made this happen, but you know, they are genius. Maybe they have some black magic of their own. Those two mills, I think they they was they were the Oh well, so so, I'm kind of frightened right now. And the wind was at 2.8, right? Yeah, that's what we were using. I mean 0 0.8 to right, yeah. I feel like I'll be still landing my hits a bit high, but... Uh, let's go for it anyway. Oh, that's a guy. Damn, you see that? Yay. You know, you still get the kind of joy from this even after oh well, let's just say dozens of shots I mean I think oh yeah that guy missed I mean he's pretty small target regardless I know by now that this should probably kill the guy or maybe I'll hit the ammo box yeah there we go and just to remind this actually with you know 
a decent wind. It's not much, but you know, 2.3 ish is pretty average for all this, and that's complete crosswind. Okay, that's it for the first section. But since I started about with everything, I think I'll just generate a random practical example for you guys to wonder. Uh, I'll get a new position just to get a bit different angles for the wind. I feel like uh, here would be good for the example again. Fieldcraft wise, bad positioning, I'll be sticking out like a sore thumb. But for the example's sake, we have a bit different wind direction. How about. Oh, yeah, this is actually not too far from the. How about where? Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll just do it from here. I'll just do it from here. 1400, let's take this dude. Okay, this time I won't forget about these three. Okay, gun profile doesn't need any require or changes. 27.7 tap is nice here. If you want to be quick, for the same humidity. I like designating the same target million times. No exact reason for that, but that's just how I function. Crosswind, that's close enough. It's not exactly the same, but as you can see, the heading doesn't change at all in Atrex. So, I mean, Gestral, so yeah, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, that should be good. Oh, it would help me if I remember the wind direction. It's actually kind of borderlining already. Like I probably wouldn't measure it like this. I would probably rather get to that few meters forward, like here. I already forgot the wind direction. I figured the speed is the same, but yeah, okay. So yeah, same. Ninety-three ish. Okay, really. Hmm. Apparently we got the same, same crosswind. Yeah, it was just going through in my mind that I didn't fuck up with anything, right? And I'm pretty sure I did not. So again, we do the same division, 1.4 divided by 0.6, we got 2.33. I can just take a shot from here, it doesn't matter if I'm here or, you know, 3 meters in that direction. That's minuscule. 14, 1.6 left. Uh, well, I already know that the shots were kind of li landing high, so let's just go stick with this. Aim for center mass, and now I'm ready to take the shot. Won't take longer than that. And that's our guy down. You will get good at it as long as you just practice. Like, I mean, that's that's such a cliche to say, but practice makes perfect, guys. Especially in this this case. Sure, let's see how this one goes. That should be a target at least. <coughs> 0 0.7, and of course, in the actual mission, I would do this with uh, with a calculator. And you have one in your phone, unless you have a separate one. Again, where was my target again? Again, nice cheat sheet for this one. I think that was our guy, right? 60, yeah, that's our guy. I am going pretty quickly right now, so there's a slight chance I'll miss something, but we'll see about that soon enough. I should be able to hit the first shot, cause these guys are four bigger targets than the normal soldiers, just, I mean, compare them. This is a slight difference. Uh, well, now when I spawn the guy, I might as well go for the one. Okay, barely hit him, but... That's a baby. That's a baby. XMC. Stick to this one. I mean, sure, you can go for Barrett if you want, stopping power, but they are not as accurate. <coughs> 